So with the latest Black Ops 6 patch nerfing the zombie butt lobby or zombie pileup glitch, that XP farm, probably the best XP farm this game's seen, I decided to jump on and test another zombie pileup glitch to see if it still works. And it absolutely does guys, here's me doing this on screen now. What this consists of is basically you hitting, while well, playing the directed mode, getting to around 10 and using this, well I'd say exploit to have zombies spawning indefinitely at a level 10, all completely ignoring you, piling up in a small circle ready for you to just simply pop off then simply repeating the process in a matter of 10 seconds and doing this over and over again it's a great way to earn xp as a solo player whether you want to level up your character a certain weapon you want to work on camels in that zombies mode this is absolutely perfect for it today i will explain all for those that don't know about it how's it going guys my name is dpj and i'm giving away 5000 cod points on a weekly basis now do you guys want to win well it's as simple as this drop a like on this video leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on the more i see you active in my comment sections the more of a chance you have of winning so good luck everybody Okay, so this is a glitch I posted a couple of days back now. I'm so glad to see that it's still in the game after the latest patch. It's a solo method. I mean, it works, you could do it in a team, but it's much, much better as a solo player. It means more XP for the player doing this because like I said, zombies are capped at a level 10, well around 10 zombies, so they're not hard, but they do drop you decent XP. And because you can pile them up in a small circle, them ignoring you, you popping them off from behind, getting all the XP and rinsing and repeating this process over and over and over again. In my opinion, it's best to do this as a solo player, doing it in a team or just basically just split the XP gains but it's so easy to set up you can do it in about 10 minutes and what I'm actually going to do guys is for those that don't know about this um, I, like I said I posted a video on it a couple of days back now I'll just repeat the steps from that video in this video just for the people that don't know about this glitch so here guys a clip from my previous video covering exactly how you do this from start to finish it's a simple process of setting it up but yes enjoy it guys and use it while you can because no doubt this will be patch out of the game soon so to do this guys it's really simple load into zombies select the mission and select directed mode then make sure you have the weapon of choice on nothing else is required beyond whatever you want to level up and work on those camels towards so load into that terminus mission and progress the mission guys obviously you first have to activate and protect the free amp generators the third brings you down to this section of the map right here guys where upon you protecting that generator you then have to trigger the lift upon you triggering this lift people your next uh, objective is to buy the dead wire perk for your weapon then ride the elevator shooting the electrical panels which are marked on your map pretty straightforward to find also on that lift is that pack a punch which is in real close proximity to where we actually abuse this uh, XP farm. So yes, you can farm and level up your weapon with this pack a punch machine to make taking out these zombies even easier as you progress with it. So upon you shooting those electrical panels, guys, you next have to retrieve the EMF fab from the doctor. So once you've done that, you then have to retrieve the contents of the doctor's briefcase. Upon doing this, you then have to return the resonator to the research lab. The next objective is where you can abuse his XP farm. So here you have to activate the harmonic triangulators. Now at this point guys, your round should be capped at a 10. It doesn't matter if they ain't, but 10 is a max level you can do this at because again, it's capped in that directed mode. Hence why the zombies never get any harder also around this area like i said is that pack a punch machine which is on the lift you rode up here as well as most other devices you need but to be honest you won't need them so from this point guys run to this machine directed on screen where your objective will state to use the triangulation values to solve the equations so when you are interacting with this machine people the zombies spawn in and completely ignore you then pile up behind you outside of this room when that last zombie runs past you simply run out behind them and take them all out 
Then guys run back to the machine, interact with it, don't try and solve it, obviously you don't want to progress past this point. After about 10 seconds the zombies will respawn back in, again upon that last zombie running past you, you can simply just rinse and repeat this over and over and over and you get either bored of levelling up your weapon or got what you come here for. It really is as simple as that guys. Now like I said it isn't the fastest method you can use in regards to XP gains, there are some crazy XP glitches out there but most of them, if not all of them, require you to be in a team or at least split screening and if you, like I said, you don't want to set any of that faff up and you want to get straight into those XP farms, especially as a solo player, I think this is definitely one of the best out there. Now this can be done in a team but it won't be anywhere near as effective because like I said the zombies when they spawn in are limited uh, because the amount of them don't change neither does their level so doing this in more than one player I mean you're just basically splitting the XP gains you're going to be fighting to take out the zombies so yes only use this as a solo player in my opinion. Again, barely any setting up and a super super easy method in earning XP and you're not doing other things like camels and more. If you do have those double XP tokens to use, you may as well take advantage of them while you can. Again, this is directed mode only. This won't work, I believe, in standard zombies. I mean, actually, I haven't really tested it. It may indeed work, but obviously the zombies are there will get tougher and tougher as the waves go up. So yeah, use and abuse this while you can in directed mode where zombies are kept at an easy, an easy standard um, and you don't really have to struggle at all or even pay much of attention in taking them all out. It's a proper chill XP farm in my opinion. So yes guys, there are many, many XP farms they're going to nerf out of the game and I have no doubt this form of XP farm will be one they do nerf. So you definitely want to be abusing this while you can. We've seen with the latest patch now that they are looking to nerf XP farms in the game because it takes away basically what they want the people to do. They want the people to grind this game. Any easy way out of that grind, any easy way out which is going to lead to players getting bored with nothing else left to do. They're going to try their best to take out the game and XP farms or camo farms within zombies and just easier methods of doing such our methods they see as shortcuts and shortcuts will lead players to eventually leaving their game meaning less money for them so they're going to do their best to nerf them so yes take advantage of this while you can my beautiful people but on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one